Good morning. Thank you for joining me for this morning prayer on Friday, the 5th of June. I hope this finds you well. Please follow the words are on the screen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Christ, have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Our first reading is from Psalm 119, but you'll be thankful to know that it is only seven verses. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your words. I rejoice at your word like one who finds great spoil. I hate and abhor falsehood, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you for your righteous ordinances. Great peace have those who love your law. Nothing can make them stumble. I hope for your salvation, O God, and I fulfil your commandments. My soul keeps your decrees. I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and decrees, for all my ways are before you. And the Gospel reading today is one perhaps you might want to come back to and just dig a bit deeper, spend some time reading it and trying to understand what it means. Mark chapter 12, verses 35 to 37. While Jesus was teaching in the temple, he said, How can the scribes say that the Messiah is the son of David? David himself, by the Holy Spirit, declared, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, until I put your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord, so how can he be his son? And the large crowd was listening to him with delight. You might want to ponder about that, what that word Lord means in various contexts within that very short passage. Today's meditation is like last week's because I found it very challenging. Come to the edge, he said. They said, we are afraid. He said, they came. He pushed them and they flew. So we come to the time of prayer. Lord, you are indeed Lord of our lives. We praise and thank you that you're there within our reach, within our grasp, listening to us, hearing us, loving us and answering our prayers. Lord, we pray most explicitly for a cure for this virus, for either a vaccine to 
come very soon, as soon as people are able, as soon as it is safe. And we also pray for a treatment that is effective and easy and can be widely distributed. We pray for the safety of people that we love, people in our communities, people in our country and for the world. We thank you for the doctors and nurses and all those others who put themselves on the line for us. We pray for places in the world where they live in fear not only of the virus, but also of war, of famine, of poverty. And we ask, Lord, that you show us how we can help. And we also pray for those that we know, the people who are close to us, who need our prayer at this time, who need you to reach out and put your hand on them for healing or for peace or for comfort. And I'm sure that we all have people that we wish to pray for in such a way. And I'd particularly like to pray both for Linda and for Gillian this week. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And the canticle. Christ as a light illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield overshadow me. Christ under me. Christ over me. Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me, on my left and my right. And may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for spending this time with me. I wish you well and um, God's blessings on you and your family until we meet again.